So now the final of the women's 800 meters, T54. All these great races, three from the United States, two from Switzerland, two from China, one from Canada. And the lady in lane seven is the one they all have to beat. Who start off in lane nine and the former world champion who's won silver in the 1500 meters here for the United States, Amanda McGrory. In lane eight, the reigning world champion over 800 meters, the 5,000 and the 4x4 for China, Zhu Li Hong. In lane seven, going for her fourth gold medal of the week. In her fourth event for the United States, the 14-time world champion, Tatiana McFadden. In lane six for China, fourth in the 400 meters here. Her best championship result, Ma Jing. In lane five for the United States, fifth in the marathon in Lyon in 2013, Susanna Schironi. In lane four for Switzerland, the former marathon world champion with four gold medals from the Europeans in 20 and 2014, Manuela Shah. And compatriot in lane three, bronze in the one, the two, and the four. Ingrisetto last year in the Europeans, Alexandra Helbling. And in lane two, for Canada, the former world marathon champion and Commonwealth 1500 meters champion, Diane Roy. Guess who holds the world record? So it's Roy into Helbling three, Shah four, Scaroni five, Margin six, McFadden seven, Suli Hong eight, McGrory nine. Tatiana McFadden's last event of these games. She's won everything she's entered so far. What about this? Away they go. And she's always capable of engineering a US 1 2 3 as well. And it's possible here. McFadden way out ahead of the rest straight away. How will the Chinese duo deal with her? Ma Jing on her inside, Zhu Li Hong on her outside. McFadden following that usual trajectory. She'll cut inside by that bend at the end of the fast straight. USA 1, China 2 and 3 at the moment. McFadden in the lead going through 200 metres. Zhu and Ma Jing doing their best to keep up at the moment. This could be a time trial for Tatiana McFadden. Seven Paralympic titles, 14 world titles including the marathon here in London in 2015 when it wasn't run in Doha. McFadden takes the ball, of course. Zhu and Ma Jing coming through in second and third. Shah is in fifth. Scaroni moving up for the United States in the fourth place. But it's all about our leader as usual in the women's T54. It's Tatiana McFadden way, way out in front. And for the Chinese duo of Ma Jing and Zhu Li Hong, surely the battle is up now for them for the silver medal, trying to draw McFadden in. What a fabulous athlete she is. McFadden doesn't look like in a mood to be denied. Shah is trying to move up on the outside in the battle for the silver medal, and there she goes. But into the closing straight, here we go again. Four gold medals in Christchurch in 2011. Four in London, six in Lyon, and now it's going to be a fourth gold medal with Tatiana McFadden in London 2017. She makes history basically every time she gets out of bed in the morning. Shar up for the silver medal for Switzerland, which is a magnificent result for her. But Tatiana McFadden simply won't be denied. She'll never be denied. Absolutely <laughs> magnificent by McFadden with McGrory getting the bronze for the United States. What an athlete. But then I think we say that every race about her. Four for four. We knew where she was going in. Two, four, eight and 15. She said before these championships, she was suffering a blood clot earlier in the year, underwent an operation. You wouldn't have thought it, would you? What an athlete. From 
wire to wire win for Tatiana McFadden. The race is on there for second and third. The two Chinese athletes throughout the race, you thought they're going to make a move at some point. In the end, they missed their chance, missed out the medals altogether. Really big margin of victory as well. To John McFadden is now a 15-time world champion. Silver for Manuela Shah in second place. And Amanda Mugroni gets the bronze for the United States with Ma Jing fourth and Zuli Hong in fifth.